So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video I will cover another amazing lab that is working with artifact registry so first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel so now open the console incognito window now this lab is little bit tricky you need to follow the way I am doing otherwise you won't be able to get the full score so just follow the way I am doing and here it's getting signed in automatically sometimes you may be asked for entering the username and password mm -hmm. so now we have to activate the cloud shell and there we will be performing all the steps so click on this activate cloud shell button now wait for some time Meanwhile, if you haven't checked the playlist, you can check the playlist for the remaining labs and skill badges. Also, I've created more than 50 plus skill badges. You can check the description. Now, authorize yourself and continue. Now, first of all, we have to export the zone. So, in the description box of this video, I shared one repository. And you need to follow along with me. Otherwise, here is some manual steps too. So, you need to wait. For the cloud shell to activate then we will export the zone and run the commands so now finally the cloud shell is live now in the description box i've shared the github repository as i said earlier now we have to just export the zone so you can copy it here or uh, directly paste on the cloud shell like this and i will share an easy method just click ctrl c and just hit enter now let's export the zone so just paste on your notebook notebook or notepad or just here search zone so you'll find here on the cluster so just copy the zone carefully make sure there is no extra space and if you get extra space like this just paste over here make sure to paste after equal to and use the backspace to remove this extra data so as you can see zone is same as usual it may be different for you just control x control a and then control x now here just control v and just hit enter now again you have to run this command carefully so just follow the way i am doing now it will take some time so wait for it after that there are some manual steps which i will tell you how you can execute and complete this lab without any error so as you can see here there are multiple steps that first of all we will deploy the sample application and then update it so here is integration with cloud code basically we'll be using the cloud code that is present in the cloud shell editor now we are running commands on cloud shell but cloud shell has its own editor just like the nano editor vm editor and any other editor cloud shell has to so let me show you what you'll do so these are the packages and this is the image address copy the image address and paste on any notepad We'll be using this on the next part of this lab. Basically, where we'll be using cloud code. So just copy it and paste on it on any notepad for future reference. I am saying this because we will be doing to add the image address on the later part of this lab. So now wait and let's wait only and then we'll move forward to the next step. And the last task is very easy, so wait for it. you have to wait for the cluster to get deployed and actually after that it will automatically open the cloud code you don't have to open the editor it will automatically open the cloud code so just wait for it so after this now it's opening so it will refresh itself automatically you need to wait only for it so from here click on got it and again it's reloading so just wait now here click on this wait a moment our new cloud code button will be available so just click on cloud code and from here click on compute engine 
now you will log into the cloud so just click on log into the cloud now select the project now you have to select the project id linked to this quick labs account so how you'll find it let me show you just click on it now here just select this one this is your project id just select this one and it will start logging in and loading the clusters so it will take some time you need to only wait for it meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video now finally the gke container dev cluster is live here now you have to open the kubernetes and here we will be adding these clusters cluster to be more precise click on add now it has been added now it will take some time but if you want to execute you can do one more thing that you can run it so how we will run it you have to just from here you have to click on run wait a moment file view and multiple things are there you have to just go to view and run and debug so just run it now here you have to enter the file that is code with kubernetes just enter the cloud code kubernetes and from here we have to select the java scaffold.ml so as you can see hello world java file has been selected now for build we will select docker file now after some time it will be loaded here let me show you how it will load so now here you have to click on yes just click on yes you may think that you have to paste the image no you don't have to paste the image you have to just click on yes and after that we will upload the image there will be option to update it wait for some time because this lab is little bit tricky and lengthy so now enter the image and just paste it and hit enter i will show you how you will find this image you must have copied as said earlier in the part of this lab if you haven't copied let me show you how you will find first let's wait for it to get deployed as you can see its update has been initiated and it's running successfully without any build error or also without waiting so when we'll come here on task number three here is the image id just copy it from here and just paste when it asks to enter the it now let's wait for the build to complete and once it's done we'll be moving towards our last task and we'll be done with the lab without any issue and if you face any issue do let me know in the comment section guys do join the telegram channel and i hope you are enjoying the lab So wait for the status to get completed it's currently in progress so finally the status has been updated now we'll hit check my progress for this task also we will be executing the next step of this lab so now from here just hit check my progress and as you can see we got the score now just run this command to create a java package repository click on open terminal and just paste over here and wait for these commands to execute after that will be done with the lab guys do like the video and do share the channel with your friends and family members if they are participating in any arcade any gni event and any other program across the globe and if you want to learn about arcade in hindi you can check out the channel in the description too we are hitting check my progress as you can see we got full score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab thank you guys have a great day ahead